Hey, hi, hello, welcome back. Missed you. If you're new here, my name is Linnea and this is a space where we are trying to become semi-self-sufficient where we garden, we can, we do sourdough, we do fun recipes, we do lots of fun things. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. If you're not new, welcome back. Hey, hi, what's up? I know, I already said that. Um, we're just gonna get right to it today. Today. Actually, you know, here's here's the backstory of what we're making and why. Um, I have always made sourdough bagels. Those are, it's my go-to. I love sourdough bagels. Um, they're the best, in my opinion. But Jonathan asked the other day um, how, if, if sourdough bagels really do taste different than regular bagels, like homemade regular bagels, and I was like, I don't know. I've never made homemade regular bagels with the with the yeast. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to make regular New York style bagels. I almost said sourdough bagels. No, 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 no. We are making regular yeast bagels on this channel. And we're gonna see which ones I like better, which one Jonathan likes better. Um, I mean, I, no matter what, I probably will always go back to the sourdough, but we're going to make some regular bagels. So let's go. Let's just get it going because the dough has to sit for an hour and a half and I'm, I'm running out of daylight. <laughs> I'm running out of daylight. Okay, bye. All right. I have a cup and a half of warm water in this mixer bowl. Not hot water, warm water. And I'm going to add two and three quarters teaspoon of instant or active dry yeast. I just have the active dry, so that's what we're gonna use. I guess I should be precise. We're gonna mix that together. I'm gonna mix it together and then let it sit here for about five minutes. All right, now I'm gonna add four cups of bread flour. tablespoon of regular sugar or you can also use brown sugar and then two teaspoons of regular salt and then I'm gonna put the dough hook on and we're gonna mix it for about two minutes So after about two minutes, it's gonna look kind of dry. You wanna keep kneading it. Well, you can you can take it out and you can knead it by hand or you can continue to do this for another six to seven minutes, which is what I'm going to do. All right, I, I've i greased this bowl here with some olive oil. Um, and now I'm gonna take it out of here. Kind of form it into a better ball um, and kind of turn this so it gets covered and then we are going to let this sit for 60 to 90 minutes I'm gonna go more 90 minutes because our kitchen isn't the warmest right now so it's probably gonna take a little bit longer to rise so I'm gonna cover this with a clean towel let it sit for 90 minutes and then we'll be back okay so it's been an hour and a half so 90 minutes and it definitely it did some things so we've got that I have water boiling with a quarter cup of sugar in it and then I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees 
So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and then um, we will shape it into eight bagels. They are not pretty. I am definitely standing by the fact that sourdough dough is a lot easier to work with. I mean, like, look at this. Like, it, it just won't, it just won't really stick. To, I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this one. This one's really bothering me. Hold, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna stand by the fact that sourdough dough is just easier to work with. But whatever. Um, I'm gonna take these. Put them in this boiling water for one minute per side um, and i'm going to do four bagels per water bath boil so let's do that We're gonna do that for one minute and then we'll flip them. <laughs> Look how ugly that side is. I mean, you know, that side's not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing with these four over here. Okay, so I have an egg wash here. It's just an egg white with some water. I am going to brush all of these. And then I think the majority of these are going to be um, cheese, like Asiago cheese, because that's my favorite. I don't know if I have enough cheese, so uh, I'll do plain if I don't have enough cheese. They're definitely on the uglier side, but you know what? I guess it doesn't really matter. It's all about the taste, I guess. <laughs> um, but some of these are definite ugly ducklings. I definitely don't have enough cheese. That's okay. Maybe I do. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna think uh, all of them are gonna be cheese except one. We're gonna have one plain bagel. That's all right. All right, so like I said, I have the oven preheated to 425. Um, and I'm gonna bake these for 20 to 25 minutes. And I think I'm going to do 10 minutes and then I'm going to rotate the tray and then do another 10 minutes because the back of my oven cooks faster. They actually puff up a lot better than sourdough bagels. I will, I will say that. I will give them that. Um, the dough is harder to work with, though. Um, I'm gonna let these sit for 20 minutes on the tray because that's what the direction said, and then move them to a wire rack. Oh, the bottoms look nice. Um, move them to a wire rack. Um, honestly, one of these bagels might be dinner tonight. I don't know. We'll taste it eventually. <laughs> I 
we had these bagels for dinner last night and there is a consensus that we both have about them the sourdough are way better yep sourdough bagels are way better these ones are good they just basically taste like what you buy in the store mm -hmm. so if that's what you like i mean make them but i think the sourdough ones are better in my opinion the chewiness is different they just kind of taste like a plain bagel you don't get that like almost buttery warm flavor from them the sourdough yeah. has like a nice different flavor throughout the bread uh -huh. where these just taste very much like a just tastes like plain bread. Sort of dot, yeah, plain bread with some cheese on top. Yeah, I mean, they're good, don't mm. get me wrong. They're easier, I think. Well, they're easier in the sense that they don't take overnight to make, but the dough was harder to work with. Like, I, I would much rather work with the sourdough dough than that. But I don't think I'll be making them again. That's the, that's the consensus mm. I have. It might be better with something than another, like... They might be better for like um like a deli type sandwich versus a thing. Yeah, I mean I did have a bagel sandwich this morning for breakfast with egg on it and it was really good, but like I don't know, as just a bagel itself, I prefer the sourdough. I will say these ones did like puff up more. They were more like round than the sourdough ones. But that's really like the only Yeah. That's, that's the consensus we have. Do you want to know what the next video is going to be, Jonathan? We are going. I say we because you'll probably help. I know that's how you feel about it. Uh, we are going to can uh, homemade cranberry juice. Because um, I know you like cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to can it. We're going to water bath can it. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's the next video. Okay, Jonathan's just saying goodbye. Look at our hamburger helper over there because we need a fast dinner tonight, so that's what we're having. Okay. Judge as you will. I don't care. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Okay, bye.